What's up you guys? So after damn near all day of cleaning, prepping, and whatnot, I think I can finally make my video now. You can see that over there. I'm scrubbing the shit out of this car, but I got her damn near perfect to the best of my ability. Today's video, we are actually going to be talking about the Fit Cam X 2.0, if y'all can see that. Probably can't see in the daytime, but this is the older one right here i'm actually going to set you guys down so that i can get a better angle and you guys can see exactly what i'm doing so peace all right so as you can see this is the box to the fit cam x smart car key fit cam x ideas for driving open the box up oh there goes the styrofoam and this is what comes in the box so you got your user manual right here you have the USB Type-C cable, the wiring harness, and then you lift up the styrofoam. And if you don't have a soldering kit, it actually comes with one. Pull this out the box, you got your wiring kit and some material to solder with. Don't know what this black strip is for though. I don't know if you can see that. So there's the black strip, there's the soldering material. And then here is the prying tool that also comes in the box. So this is the new Fit Chem X, but you slide it up just like that. You have your different options. There's the, let me go back, remote start. There's the lock, unlock. There's the trunk and the panic or remote start. You have the, let's see, windows. Or no, this is a keyless entry. So my vehicle comes with keyless entry, but they also give you an OBD2 adapter that you just hook into your OBD port and you have keyless entry enabled there's also auto locking windows if your vehicle has that like if you when you get out the vehicle and your windows are down it'll automatically roll them up you can select your car logo and you can select the car pick i currently have mine on the cadillac so there's the cadillac logo right there you see my cadillac back there so there's the cadillac there it also gives you the option to change that my son is being loud so you can change that, but it has to be, I believe, 240 by 120 PX. I don't know if you can see that. 240 by 120 PX M PNG in order for it to work. So this is the older one, which I like. It's just the design flaw. So there's the trunk, unlock, panic, or remote start button, and the lock button. The power button is going to be right here on the side have to kind of press that hard for it to uh, turn on. And then you have also a SIM tray right here. So this one does not come with that. There's, which there, that's probably the only issue in actuality. That is the only issue. I, this compared to this, it is, this is definitely a must have over this. And this, I thought this was a must have, which it still is if you want to. They have these on eBay for about $80. This, you can only find this on Amazon or the Fit Cam X website, and it's gonna run you, well for me, with shipping, it ran me $247 and 68 cents, but that's also to get it next day. I, I have, a, I'm very bad with patience. I cannot wait for anything. I have to have it right there once I see it, so that was my issue. The design of these two, they similar, they kind of do the same thing. This one has a, a little bit more features than this one besides the sim card tray that's the only thing this doesn't have over this but this right here is just a better design and key overall 
it fits in the hand pretty nice so I'm holding it now the power button is right here press the power button and it comes on my finger because there is no raised edges my thumb glides effortlessly over the screen which is a huge plus compared to this one for one I have to press the button hard to get it to turn on and then because of the raised edges it's not as smooth as this one per se but it is you know it's it's still manageable but this one is just it just makes things a lot easier so there's the remote start button here's the lock so there's the lock button you can see that my vehicle is locking there's the unlock button slide over there's the trunk button you can hear that hopefully you can hear that if not you should be able to see the light right there once I press these buttons so let me go back to the lock button you see that lock unlock lock uh, trunk and then the keyless entry so how the keyless entry works show you guys let me take you off of the tripod one second so how the keyless entry works is I don't know if you guys are familiar with the newer Cadillacs like the Cadillac Escalade so when you walk to the vehicle the tail lights will actually illuminate which is pretty damn cool if you ask me all right now I'm going to walk towards the vehicle as you can see I don't know if you saw that but the light did change or it did illuminate and another thing is you can change exactly how you want the uh, how far you want the proximity for the keyless entry so there's the keyless entry you can change just how far how, how you want it so there is the very far there's close there's mid normal so I'm gonna put it close hopefully it'll for, or better demonstrate exactly how this works the keyless entry once you get closer to the vehicle it's supposed to unlock your vehicle by itself and this is the dongle that you use so grab this real quick ah, this is the dongle that comes with it you just plug this into your obd2 port just like so and you are ready to rock no need to program or anything when i walk away the car should lock There you go. But yeah, that is the features of the keyless entry. All right, going back to the features of these two keys. So the wiring harness is exactly the same. Like I said, this one I bought off of uh, eBay for about $80, but they're exactly the same brand. It's just, this one's unbranded. This is branded Fit Cam X, but they use the same exact wiring harness. So if you already have this, you can swap it over to this key as well which I will demonstrate that in a little bit. Give me one second. So this is the motherboard to my key fob. As you can see, everything is wired up and connected to here. I'm going to disconnect it from here and place it in here, just so you guys can see that they are the same exact company. It'll probably help if I remove this styrofoam. All right, so that is out now. And now I'm going to take the screws out of this one and show you exactly. <laughs> that was my mom, she was spying on me. So now I am going to slide this in here. Bear with me. Okay, so it is now on there. You guys can see it is connected and watch this pay attention to the bam see that unlock trunk panic and remote start just to show you guys that it does work one two so as you can see that does work press the panic or remote start button to turn it off See, works flawlessly. So now I'm going to remove this one from the old one. All right, so that same 
motherboard is on this key fob and just to demonstrate there you go she is back working now to place my styrofoam pieces in here just like so and because these are interchangeable what i'm actually going to do i'm actually thinking about giving away my old key fob or not the old key fob but giving away this one right here all right so now that is on there we are ready to rock you guys let me know down in the comment section but what i was actually thinking of doing since i have this one i no longer have a need for this what i was planning on doing is actually giving this one away my original one and you can change every the, the same thing that you can do with this key fob you can do with this one as well um, the only thing is there's a hidden menu on here which i will actually get to in a bit but what i'm going to do is give this one away so you guys let me know down in the comment section exactly how i should do so if i should do a poll if i should do some type of raffle or whatever it is but i will be giving this away with this firing harness that came with this one but like i said they're the same exact brand so they will both the wiring harness will work for this key um, i was planning on giving it away um, just let me know down in the comment section how I should go about doing so and I will I will I, I will do that so with this one there's actually a hidden menu if you press the power button five times so one two three four five you have a hidden menu and the first one you can change the touch sensitivity so the red is the highest green is mid white is basic I'm gonna put mine on red and then you have the uh, you can change the brightness setting so there's at the moment there's only two settings or three settings there's one or there's two right there uh, one right there go to three there's three and then touch hold i don't i haven't played with that so i don't know what that is and then keep or screen keeps on that's so if you don't want the screen to power off as soon as you put the key down it'll stay on for a little bit longer and then bluetooth visibility that is for the keyless entry um, with this key there's actually a logo up top don't know if you can see it but it'll be right there it illuminates blue once you're connected to the keyless entry remote and then this tells you your last command so if you don't remember if you locked your car keys or if you locked your car uh, just turn the key on and this on this right here will show you the last command that you sent so but that is what that is for it'll tell you your last command scroll back go back to that secret menu so one two one two three four five you can change the language of the key uh bluetooth bind don't know what that is i'm not gonna mess with that and then i don't know what that last one down there is but the first one is the touch sensitivity second one is the brightness uh screen on and touch hold don't know what that is so that's what the key is uh that's the difference between these two let me turn this one on so you guys can see both have remote start lock unlock right there trunk and panic or remote start with the same cadillac logo and then you have your keyless entry setup and all that other stuff like i was saying this one is just much more superior the fill in the hand the way it sits in the hand the accessibility of the buttons on the sides versus this one it just makes it, it's a lot better um, this one I do have a screen protector on and I have an aftermarket sticker which can come off um, the biggest thing with this one that I love like I said fits in the hand perfectly and it comes with a key ring this one does not unless you purchase a case that has it and even then this is rubber you know what's that gonna hold can't hold too much before before it breaks or rips so that's the upsides of this you don't need a case necessarily for this the screen is flush with the rest of the body so your thumb or whatever finger you choose to use sl slides effortless effortlessly over the screen this one you have kind of the raised edges so it, it's still comfortable in hand but this one is just a lot easier another upside to this compared to the other one is this one uses usb type c compared to this one which does not it uses the old whatever you want to call that i don't know what kind of 
port that is but this one uses USB type C and why I love it is because my phone also uses USB type C so I can share the same uh, charging cable for both definitely worth it compared to this one you can find it on Amazon for $228 or on the Fit Camex website for approximately the same price I don't know about the shipping but this is definitely superior compared to this one because it has the USB type C the key ring fit in the hand perfect fit in the hand thumb slides effortlessly over the screen compared to this one I definitely recommend this one I definitely do so hold that down as you can see, she's about to get started. That exhaust sounds beautiful. And then turn it off by pressing the uh, panic or remote start button. I, I, I definitely recommend this key. If you guys have any further questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. As far as wiring, when it comes to this key, I can, if whoever I give this to, if you want me to, uh, I can wire your original key fob to this. All you have to do, it, it's up to you. I'm not telling you you have to, but uh, all you have to do is send me, you can either send me your whole key or you can send me the um, just the motherboard and I will happily uh, you know, get everything soldered and working for you so that when it does arrive to you, you have a working key you'll also get my case you'll get the charging cable everything that comes with it i will be sending along with it already being uh programmed to your vehicle so fit cam x is definitely stepping up their game they're not uh, the, this this reminds me of the bmw key fit cam x actually branched out and went their own way which i love this key a lot better than this one so if you guys want to know how to solder it yourself check out my old video fit cam x also has a video on how to install uh, fit cam x also has a video on how to install such thing uh your mother how to solder your uh motherboard to the uh motherboard how to solder the wiring harness to the motherboard sheesh that was a tongue twister so i hope this video was educational for probably the fifth time i'm saying this um, hopefully it helps you decide on which key fits you best and let me know down in the comment section how I should go about giving away this key fob and I will happily do so. I know I said I was going to make a video on my car getting tuned which I did record the whole thing and I was supposed to record a video about why I'm uh, quitting my job and moving uh, but I need to upgrade my SD card or whatever the case is something with my phone I need to upgrade my phone because I had the I had both videos edited they were supposed to actually go out last week and the week before that but they actually got deleted I accidentally deleted them because my phone I have it set where it restarts every other day and it deletes things that haven't been used it deletes it um, and I guess it accidentally deleted that I don't know so I'm gonna have to re-record those as far as the tuning process goes, I'm going to have to redo that anyways because the guy that tuned it, I took it to finish line performance and they tuned it but they half ass tuned it. It still has a rough idle so I'm actually going to take it there probably by the end of this month to get retuned and I will be sure to record that and uh, post that to you guys so you guys can see the numbers, see it getting tuned and whatnot. And then I will be making a video of why I'm quitting and whatnot so until next time this your boy kid caddy peace